another edition of Bethea's Bite Reloaded. I'm Ernest Bethea, The Last Outlaw, and in case you missed it, this one's going straight to the Justice Serve file. Alex Mardaw, the disgraced South Carolina attorney, has been sentenced to two consecutive life sentences for the murder of his wife and his son. Alex Mardaw was sentenced Friday morning to two life sentences in prison and the sentences will run consecutively. The sentencing came the day after Murdaugh, age 54, was found guilty of the murders of his wife, 52-year-old Maggie, and son Paul, age 22. Murdaugh faced two counts of murder and two weapons charges for the June 7, 2021 shooting near the dog kennels of the family's 1,770-acre hunting estate and was convicted on all charges. Authorities said that he killed his wife and son as personal and financial struggles became overwhelming. Prior to the sentencing, Mardaw addressed Judge Clifton Newman saying, quote, I'm innocent. I would never hurt my wife Maggie, and I would never hurt my son Paul Paul. Before Mardaw spoke, Prosecutor Creighton Waters asked for two consecutive life sentences, calling Mardaw a cunning manipulator a man who placed himself above all others, including his family, quote, end quote. A man like this man should never be allowed to be among free, law-abiding citizens again, Waters said, adding that during the trial, whenever Murdoch would walk by him, he would stare him down. Just before sentencing Murdoch, Newman addressed him at length, saying, I know you have to see Paul and Maggie during the nighttime when you're attempting to go to sleep. I'm sure they come and visit you. After Murdoch claimed he was innocent for the second time in the morning, Newman said, It might not have been you. It might have been the monster you'd become. When you take 20, 40, 50, 60 opioid pills, maybe you become another person. Paul was shot in the chest and head with a shotgun at close range. Maggie was shot multiple times, including one shot in the back and additional shots while she was lying on the ground. She had been shot with 300 blackout ammo at, from an AR-style rifle. Both of them were pronounced dead at the scene. But Mardaw's defense team insisted that he was visiting his ailing mother at the time of the murders. He initially said that he wasn't near the dog kennels, but a Snapchat video taken by Paul showed that he had been at the scene at 8.44 p.m., just five minutes before authorities say Maggie and Paul were murdered. Taking the stand in his own defense, Mardaw later admitted that he had lied about his whereabouts and cited his mistrust of police and paranoia that stemmed from a 20-year opioid addiction. Mardaw has more upcoming legal woes. He faces dozens of charges for alleged financial crimes and in including misappropriating money from his law firm, defrauding clients of funds and computer crimes. Authorities allege that he also defrauded 
the family of his former housekeeper out of $4.5 million insurance settlement after she died in a mysterious slip and fall accident at his home. A trial for those charges will be held at a later date. All right, Mr. Murdo, I sentence you to the State Department of Corrections on each of the murder indictments in the murder of your wife, Maggie Murdo. I sentence you for a term of the rest of your natural life for the murder of Paul Murdo, whom you probably love so much. I sentence you to prison for murdering him for the rest of your natural life. Those sentences will run consecutive under the statute involving possession of a weapon during a violent crime. There is no sentence where life, a life sentence is imposed on other indictments. That is the sentence of the court, and you are remanded to the State Department of Corrections. Hey guys, this is The Last Outlaw. I send you all a million thank yous for all the love and support of Bethesda's Might Reloaded. I know I've said this before, but it bears being repeated. Without you, this channel does not run. So again, a million times over, I thank you. I'd like you to do something for me. If you enjoyed this video, or you want to give your feedback on anything that was discussed or shown, I'd like you to do the following. Give the video a like. It helps to get the information out to everyone who may have information leading to getting justice for the victims and or bringing the missing home safe. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and let's join in this fight together. Be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of future videos live and pre-recorded. The real game changer is when you click the share button. Send this and videos like it all over your social media. The more eyes and ears on this channel, the better the chances of getting justice for the families of the victims and bringing the missing home. Of course you're going to have your say as well, so be sure to drop a comment. I just ask you to keep it clean and civil. Remember, we are about getting justice, not arguing over who's right or wrong in a debate. Don't forget to follow Bethea's Bite Reloaded all over social media. On Facebook, at Bethea's Bite Reloaded TC. On Twitter, at EKB316. On YouTube, at Bethea's Bite Reloaded, with and without the punctuation marks. On Instagram, at EB The Last Outlaw. On TikTok, at King of Hearts 316 2021. Email me at King of Hearts 316 underscore 09 at Outlook.com. Hit me up on the message forum at www.BethiasBite.com. This is your home for news, opinions, debates, your voice, and justice served. This is Bethea's Bite. And it's reloaded.